Hi everyone. I brought my favorite diffuser with me today for Ask Wardy because we're going to talk about how to ditch those toxic candles and air fresheners, go natural instead, but still enjoy the wonderful aromas of Christmas and wintertime. Welcome everyone to Ask Wardy. I'm thrilled you're here. We are celebrating the wonders of the Christmas season and of course in our family that means we're celebrating the birth of Jesus and the smells of the season are everywhere, but a lot of them are toxic. We want to get away from that and still fill our homes with the aromas of Christmas and winter time. So I'm going to be sharing my favorite essential oil blends here that give you the feeling of Christmas um, and winter time, homemade and also ready to go purchase blends. Um, I'm also going to be sharing um, some non-toxic alternatives to paraffin candles. The danger with conventional candles and air fresheners is toxic and releases known carcinogens into the air. Um, it's really worse than smelling secondhand smoke, so it's really not healthy, but perhaps the biggest beef that I have is the release of xenoestrogens. We've talked about xenoestrogens on a um, past episode of Ask Wardy. Xenoestrogens in a nutshell are just wreaking havoc on the endocrine, the hormone systems of men, women, and children. So really none of us should be breathing those toxins. We get enough of it. Um, it's why we talk over and over about cleaning up our foods, about removing toxins from um, our environment, drinking clean water, reducing our use of plastic, um, personal care products. These xenoestrogens are everywhere. And so the more we can reduce them, the better off we are. So that's just reason number 412, actually reason number one in my opinion, to stop using toxic conventional candles and air fresheners. And we have wonderful alternatives for you today. It's not just um, a case of doing something that's better and that's neutral, but essential oils, when you use them in diffuser blends, they're actually really healthy for you. They can boost the immune system, they can purify the air and sanitize the environment, they can improve your mood, they can have so many wonderful benefits. So it's not just a case of removing toxins, you're actually adding wonderful benefits to your home environment as well. So we're gonna go through some diffuser blends today. Um, I do wanna stop for a quick announcement though to thank you all for joining me for all of November's Home Grain Milling 101 series that we did right here on this podcast, Ask Wardy. And I want to let you know that we covered so much information that um, my team and I decided to turn all that information into an ebook that I'd like to offer you for free. So um, if you're on my email list already, I sent you an email and said, do you want it? If you're not receiving my emails, then you may not have heard. So all you have to do is send me an email Wardy, W-A-R-D-E-E, -E, at askwardy.tv and request that. And when it's ready, I'll be sure and give it to you, okay? All right, so let's get into today's episode of Ask Wardy. This question comes from Martha T. She says, I just found out how bad candles and air fresheners are, but I love how they make my house smell. What can I use instead that's non-toxic and still smells really good? Thank you. Well, Martha, great question, and I have just the answer for you essential oil diffuser blends. We've been talking about how toxic conventional candles are. Getting away from those is really good for all our health. Plus we're introducing the wonderful properties of essential oils. So I actually have 14 blends to share with you. Now we're not gonna go through all of them here, but that's why the show notes are there for you. They're actually ready right now. Askwardy.tv, look for episode 101 and all 14 recipes are listed out. Some of them I've created myself. Some of them I have just been inspired by recipes on the internet and tweaked a little bit or kept as is. But the principle behind all of these is what are the things we wanna smell during the holidays? When you think about what you wanna smell during Christmas, I think of two things. First is the smells of baking. Nutmeg, cloves, orange, cinnamon, mint, uh, vanilla, coffee. Those all to me speak lovely, delicious, just scrumptious baked goods. The other thing that comes to mind when I think about Christmas and wintertime are the smells of the outdoors. So berries, um, evergreens like fir. So that's kind of what we're working with when we're combining um, blends into these and maybe some additional, but that's how you could come up with your own. If you have a recipe that you really like, like a pumpkin bread that has beautiful spices and you have some of the essential oils that are the spices in that recipe, like ginger, clove, cinnamon, um, make a blend for yourself. If you really like a particular coffee drink, you could take a coffee essential oil and you could add those other food um, ingredient spices that are essential oils and combine till you come up with something. So that's really how I've come up with um, 
uh, the blends that we do in our home. So let's just go through, I'll tell you what the 14 are and then we'll make one together. We have Medieval Christmas, uh, which is a combination of citrus, so you could do orange, tangerine, blood orange with nutmeg. Oh, I love that one. There's spiced cider, which is orange, cinnamon, and ginger together. There's candy cane, where you're combining the mints of spearmint and peppermint with a little bit of cinnamon. Uh, chai, this one's fantastic. You've got cardamom, clove, orange, and cinnamon bark together. Woodsy, which is grapefruit with pine or fir and black pepper. Christmas tree, so the pine and fir, obviously, and then you add some patchouli and some clove. This one smells delicious. Celebrate Jesus. That's what we do in our home, and I think a lot of you do too. Uh, frankincense, orange, peppermint, and patchouli. That one smells amazing. Favorite beverages, so vanilla mint mocha. So you're combining coffee um, essential oil with vanilla and peppermint. That is scrumptious. You can do a simple peppermint mocha where you're combining coffee and mint. And then Lindsay, who is our content director and writer here, um, shared two of her favorite combinations. She's got fur with peppermint together and cinnamon bark, orange, and clove together. So kind of a spiced mix there. So don't those sound great? So to make your own essential oil blends, all those recipes, askwardy.tv, look for episode 101. So you need a cool mist diffuser. This is mine, it's glass. It was a gift from Megan from Eat Beautiful. Um, it's unfortunately not available currently. Maybe it'll come back in stock. There is a link at uh, the show notes so you can go to Amazon and check. But I've also done a search for you for cool mist diffusers. And Rocky Mountain Oil is one of our preferred um, essential oil companies has cool mist diffusers as well. So you will need a diffuser. Um, you're also gonna need your essential oils. We have two sources we recommend for essential oils, Rocky Mountain Oils and Aroma Foundry. And I've got a whole selection of the kind of food spices and nature scents that I was just referring to right here. So Rocky Mountain Oils and Aroma Foundry are where we recommend you get your essential oils. There is one exception um, because I have not been able to find coffee at either of those. So what I re recommend, and we have a link for you at askwardy.tv episode 101, is coffee from Plant Therapy. You can get it right on Amazon. So that's what you need, cool mist diffuser and your essential oils. Now, if you're, this is if you're making them yourselves. If you want ready to make, um, if you want ready to go blends, I'm gonna talk about those at the end because you can purchase some blends already to go. Okay, so let's make one together here. And the one I'm gonna choose really um, is celebrate Jesus, okay? So let me turn this off so we can um, put it together. You fill up your diffuser, every one of them's a little bit different. Uh, you fill it up to the water level mark. And you also wanna go by your diffusers, um, what it recommends for the total drops of essential oil it recommends to go at one time. So a lot of them are between six and eight drops. So the recipes that I've shared with you at askwardy.tv episode 101, the 14 recipes are all for about that size of diffuser. So Celebrate Jesus requires three drops of frankincense. There we go. Three drops orange, and I like to use blood orange a lot. I just think it's a great orange. A little more potent. And one drop of peppermint, and my peppermint comes out fast, so make sure I only get one drop here. One drop, pretty good. And patchouli. So where's here's the patchouli. There we go, patchouli's thick, and it's a slow one to come out. Put this back together. And I like this diffuser a lot because the first button is just constant diffusing. And if you hit it twice, it changes to a blue light and you get bursts. So you can um, pretty much cut in half your essential oil consumption to save money over time. I love, essential, I love diffusers that have that feature. And that is already smelling so good. I'll put it on constant there. So if you want to check out the recipes, do go to askwardy.tv episode 101 and you'll see all 14 laid out. I want to take a moment though and talk to you about how you can create your own blends uh, without wasting oils because I just put what? Three, three, so eight drops of essential oil in here. What if I don't like it? 
well, then I've kind of wasted eight drops. I'll have to dump down the sink or just use anyway and not enjoy. So here's how to come up with your own blends without wasting oil. There's actually two ways, okay? And first, um, I wanna tell you it's very helpful that you have stickers on the top of your oils that label um, what is in the oil because you're gonna be uncapping several bottles and you wanna make sure that you put the right cap back on the right bottle. So if you go to the show notes, if you don't have labels, if your bottles don't come label, I'll have a link for you at the show notes that gives you um, kind of this inexpensive sticker set that I purchased to label the top of my oils. Okay, so let's say, and I'll just go through the process of um, when I made the vanilla mint mocha recipe, okay? So I knew coffee, vanilla, peppermint, and so I got out my vanilla and coffee and peppermint, okay? And this is the no, the absolutely no waste method because all you're gonna do is uncap each one of these. Let me turn that off so it's not competing. Uncap each one, move that back. If you don't have labels on the top of your um, caps, then at least keep them in line the same order you've got your oil so they don't get mixed up, okay? And then you grab them all together and don't put your nose too close but move them and your nose just to get an idea of how they blend together. And that smells luscious. So I know that those are a good combination of scents and it's safe enough to proceed by putting them in the diffuser. And then what you wanna do is as you start combining them in your diffuser is play with the amounts. So maybe the first time just use equal amounts of the oils, so one or two drops of each, depending on how many oils total you're using. And then if you say, oh, well, the coffee's too strong, then the next time back the coffee off and see if you like it better. Or if you say, I would like more peppermint, then you increase the peppermint, okay? So then, and then keep your notes, and that's how you can come up with blends over time. Pretty cool. Now, there's another way to make your essential oil blends to practice without wasting so much, and that is if you get a cloth and like a paper towel or a cloth and you drip one drop in kind of the same area of the cloth and then just smell it like that. And if you like it, um, you're good to go, proceed. If you don't, um, then you've wasted a little bit but you haven't filled up the whole diffuser. And anyway, you can make use of that cloth because you can keep it handy and just smell it and get those aromatic um, properties for as long as the scents last, okay? So I'm having a little assignment for all of you, which is go to askwardy.tv episode 101. And if you have a favorite essential oil blend, I want to hear it in the comments. And please be specific with a recipe so that others coming along and reading know exactly what to do. So how many drops of which oils? We'd love to hear. Now let me take a moment and talk to you about ready to go essential oil blends. Um, I do often, um, you know, put in a couple drops of this, a couple drops of that and make my own blends because we have lots of variety that way and I can try new things. But sometimes just in a hurry. And if you had something ready to go, it's the difference between running the diffuser or not running the diffuser. And so Rocky Mountain Oils, which was one of our preferred sources of oils, has these amazing holiday blend kits. And they're actually on sale through Christmas Eve for 20% off with uh, free shipping. And so I have purchased two of the three kits they have available. One of them is like called the Christmas morning kit and it has candy cane and it has um, evergreen dream in it which you can guess what these are by the names right and then it has warm and cozy which warm and cozy is really um, orange cinnamon bark and clove bud so it's kind of like your baking blend these are fantastic um, I just love them and again they're 20% off through uh, December 24th when I purchased them um, our daughter really liked them as well so actually we we had some old leftover essential oil bottles that we had cleaned out. So I just split these in half and she took some home and then we kind of shared the purchase together. So made it go farther because we're not gonna get through it this Christmas season. Uh, they have another blend kit that is called the fall blend, but I think it's wonderful for Christmas and winter time. You have peppermint mocha and this is my absolute favorite. So I can make it myself, but here it is in a pinch and pumpkin spice latte. So all of you, um, coffee drinkers who like it seasoned up, you've got your own pumpkin spice latte right here. It has uh, coffee, cinnamon bark, orange, clove bud, balsam of Peru, and vanilla. Nice, huh? These are fantastic. And they have one other kit, which is the Wise Men, I believe it's called. And so you can guess what that is. Uh, in fact, 
might not be called the wise men. It might be called Christmas Sacred Night. That's what it is. And it has one blend and two singles. And the singles are frankincense and myrrh. Um, and the blend is called wise men. <laughs> There's, that's where I got wise men in my head. So if you can imagine what that is. So peaceful, relaxing, um, just filling you with the joy of the season. It's a, be it's a beautiful blend as well. Okay, let me make sure I've covered everything. Oh, I haven't, because here's the issue, and Martha's original question was, she, um, she found out how bad candles and air fresheners are, conventional ones. So we've got a solution here to take care of the aromas you wanna feel and smell in your home during Christmas, but none of us wanna give up candles, do we? We still wanna be able to put them on our end tables and arrange with greenery and our centerpiece on our table, and you don't have to give up toxic candles either because there are non-toxic ones on the market. And I have an assortment here for you. These are 100% beeswax and aren't they beautiful? And lest you think beeswax only comes in one color, it doesn't because you can get colored beeswax as well. So there's tapers like this. There are pillars, there are jars, there are tea lights, uh, there are votives. Um, all kinds of 100% beeswax candles. So we have a link for you with this episode, askwardy.tv101. And I also have another different kind of candle here. This was a gift from Millie, and many of you know Millie because she's been working with us for a number of years. She sent it a few years ago for, for Christmas, and I really am, don't light it too often because I just don't want to let go of it. But it's a tallow candle. So it's made with um, beef tallow because animal fats make great, um, great candles as well. So here we go. We have a beautiful assortment of candles. So between the diffuser, which I should turn back on, the diffuser filling your home with healthy um, aromatics of Christmas and winter time, and then beeswax or animal fat um, candles giving you the beautiful lights. There is no reason not to, um, not to fill your home with the ambiance you want, but that's completely healthy. So I find it really exciting to decorate a bit. Um, in the winter time to enjoy these these aromas and these beautiful candles and I hope you do too. So that's it. 14 Christmas and wintertime essential oil diffuser blends. You can get all the recipes at askwardy.tv episode 101. Pretty cool we're at episode 101 and 100% beeswax candles. We have links to all these resources for you at the show notes. And before I go, let me again thank you to Thank all of you for joining me for the entire month of November for our Home Grain Milling 101 series. I'm gonna have an ebook ready for you shortly that combines all the material that I shared with all the gluten-free information and the types of mills and everything like that. So if you didn't respond by email to say you wanted it, just shoot me an email to say you do and I'll put you on the list and send it to you when it's ready. And I'm always ready for more questions for the queue of Ask Wardy, so you'll find out at the show notes, askwardy.tv, how to submit your questions. And you can do it on Facebook if that makes it easy for you. So God bless you all and an early Merry Christmas, although we'll have a couple more episodes of Ask Wardy before Christmas is actually here. I appreciate each one of you and the fact that we gather together every week. It's such an encouragement to me and I hope it is to you too. Bye-bye. God bless you. <laughs>